up next, the kayak relay. From Budweiser. Budweiser wish you and yours the very best of everything this holiday season. They have a lot of problems with the buoy. But after watching me in this kayak for a couple of minutes, I'm just messing around now. I'm just doing some real heavy maneuvers right now. Okay, but what you want to do, you come around the outside of the buoy, okay? Lean down low. Here's where you're going to make your quick turn around. <laughs> Problem at all. You just stay right with your kayak. Very Tony Dan to leads off for ABC. Heather Locklear follows. Tracy Stoggins. Finally, Captain. And in goes Heather Locklear in the far lane for the boat. But they're a little slow in that exchange and push off. The ABC push off. Heather Locklear and Tracy Stoggins. NBC Stephanie Kramer in deep trouble as you can see. But Tracy just as she was great in the swimming. Stephanie Kramer, watch him when him, he takes the final run. Look at Stoggins, lethal at what she's achieved. Debbie Shelton finally getting in to end her leg for CBS and NBC and Stephanie Kramer still third. But Shatton is just having a breeze now and he knows it. He knows that ABC is in total command. For CBS, Parker Stevenson in the middle lane. For NBC, it's Terry Topler. But they're not easy, and he will showboat his way in. Terry comes third. Chatner is in already with the victory, the biggest victory in terms of distance in the history of the kayak relay in the Battle of the Net. The eight, and the hugs and kisses on the ABC team. Stevenson in now, second for CBS, and coming in third, Terry Copley and NBC. And sounding off is Captain Bill Devane of CBS. And Terry Copley being helped finally out of the NBC kayak. All right, ABC in the lead as the first game goes in. Spectacular catch, five to nothing. Interception in front of Doug Sheehan. That made the score five to two CBS. Later, Tony Danza would enter. Heather Locklear. Nice reception. And... Stoggins. Stoggins apparently complaining of pass interference. You, what do you think? Well, we get another look at it here, Howard. Here is Stoggins breaking toward the end zone. I don't see any... No interference at all on, uh, on Copley's part. I just think it was a garbage throw by Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> How well you put it. Terry Copley looking on. Ready now. Shatner. Instructions to Stoggins. Well, Stoggins complaining about what Copley did. Shatner telling Jim Sonny, the official, to watch out for pass interference. Hoping that he'll get up. And he deems the proper call that way. This is play number two. Got the back to pass, again looking for Stoggins, and again overthrows. Again, warning words from Stoggins to Copley. Let's have another look at it. That's all it is right here. All Shatner can do is overthrow her. I thought Copley did a good job. She's doing a fine job on Stoggins, staying very close to her. All right. Next play. Remember, women are in for three plays, and the men come in for three plays. Six plays per team on offense under the rules. So Shatner back. This time throwing. Oh! Oh! Penalty flag. That'll be worth five points. I think the interference call was perfect. Copley this time coming around from behind on Scoggins as uh, Shatner releases here. Now watch. Howard right here. Right there she grabbed her before the ball was in her hands or she made contact with the ball and the interference call. One more time from a different angle. There you see it right there. She's all over Scoggins, and the interference call made. Five nothing. Let me.
spends her days working and with her daughter. <laughs> you know, I spend time with her in the morning, and then if I have interviews, um, you know, I'll get ready and I'll go to interview, and then I'll work out. And, um, and I'm teaching her to swim right now, so we're doing our little number in the pool, which is a lot of fun. She and I are real close, and, and I thank God I have her. Thank God I have her. These days, Terry is working on a whole variety of projects, one of which will possibly wind up in a series. For instance, Larry Little, a vice president at Warner Brothers, is a real advocate of Terry, believes in her very, very deeply. When you find a very attractive woman who's got a certain innocence and has got the ability not to threaten people, then you've got a character who then becomes a very readable character. And I think that's what we see here at Warner Brothers in her. And we think that the networks feel similarly about her. So that makes a very viable television actress, in our opinion. I think that, that the audience and people hopefully have, uh, have enough intelligence to realize the difference between dumb blonde and uh, innocent and vulnerable because uh, most people are innocent and vulnerable, we hope. <laughs> but we all have those qualities. and. Uh, we're definitely, we're definitely not doing anything that has to do with a dumb blonde. What are you doing? Get out there. Get me some girl hey, Terry's latest role is that of a very strong-willed woman in the NBC telepicture, I Married a Centerfold. Damn centerfold. What's the big deal? Get your hands off me. Hey, doll, get one thing straight. You're a two-bit pinup. I have a hundred people out there waiting to see you, and I have five hundred other girls waiting to take your place. You cross me now, you will never, never work for me again. I wouldn't work for you if it was the last job on earth. He can work for Bob Uca anytime. Now back to football, ABC on Tony, offense. Tony. Hand out, Tony. Go. And hands of the pass, Russia. Right into the hands of Tracy Scoggins, and she gets the ball. I'll tell you what I want you to do now. I want you to do the same thing. I want you to cross. Yeah, the so what? Sounds to me like he's going to give Scoggins another chance to intercept. Right in the middle. He said, let's do the same thing. Now, well, let's see what result it brings. Clark, Jim Tunney's doing a nice job. All right, the play. Nope, nope, Scoggins right in there, covering well to make nice coverage by Scoggins. Wind that rubber band up a little bit better. Still <laughs> tied at five. You know how to cross, right? Right, yeah. You know how to cross? Have a lock there on defense, together with Scoggins. <laughs> Scoggins. Looking back, fans are getting a slow start. Incomplete. So it remains at 5-5, five to five, and the men will have to come in for NBC to see if they can cut a wide. That was the short pass, not into the end zone, worth two points. Here's a little, little crossing post pattern. And Singer wide open and sticking on target that time. Final score of the game, 9-5 NBC, the overall score after three events. ABC 250, NBC 250, CBS 175. Time to congratulate the gentleman who went about as expected in concluding victoriously in the touch football competition.